It's time for the Longines Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour, brought to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. A presentation of the Longines Whitnor Watch Company, maker of Longines, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world-honored Longines. Good evening, this is Frank Knight. May I introduce our co-editors for this edition of the Longines Chronoscope? Mr. William Bradford Huey, editor of the American Mercury, and Mr. Donald I. Rogers, an editor of the New York Herald Tribune. Our distinguished guest for this evening is the Honorable Joseph R. McCarthy, United States Senator from Wisconsin. The opinions expressed are necessarily those of the speakers. Senator McCarthy, you're probably the most controversial figure on the American political scene. McCarthy and McCarthyism are well-known words. I, I'm sure our audience is very much interested in your political career, so suppose we start right out, sir. Tell us about the campaign in Wisconsin. You're running for re-election, I believe. I can't, I can't tell you too much about it, Mr. Rogers, except I heard that a new man announced today. It will be a tough, close contest, I think, in the primary. In the primary, yes, yeah, a Republican mm -hmm. opponent. I've got uh, three or four Republican opponents, and I heard now, and I hope that I'm correct in this, I heard that a new man, uh, Landy Schmidt, announced today. This is the man who ran for governor, is it not? He ran for governor two years ago and uh, ran up a sizable vote. Uh -huh. If Mr. Schmidt... Uh, is an effective campaigner, yes. Yeah. He, he is an effective campaigner, and you regard Mr. Schmidt, uh, if he's running, as your uh, perhaps most uh, dangerous opponent. I wouldn't want to insult the other young men who are running by saying they were not dangerous. I see. And then uh, you say that uh, the primary fight will be serious. What kind of primary do you have? Is it an open primary to both Democrats and Republicans vote in the Republican primary? Yes, we have an unusual situation in Wisconsin, Mr. Huey. Uh, the Democrats can all vote in the Republican primary if they care to, and the Republicans, of course, could vote in the Democratic primary if they cared to. Uh, that means that if the Democrats could induce enough of their uh, Democrats to come over in the Republican primary and vote against me, it could make it very rough. Could be how dangerous how for McCarthyism, couldn't it? How, well, of course, I, I should say that uh, I think that uh, I'll get about as many Democrat votes out there as any other candidate. Okay. We get some awfully good Democrats in Wisconsin. Is this going to be one of those uh, campaigns that uh, considerable amounts of money will be spent from outside the state? Do you expect the money will be spent there, sent into Wisconsin to try to help defeat you? There is a fortune being sent into Wisconsin already. In fact, I think there's been more campaign literature put out by my opposition up to this time than there normally has been during an entire campaign. On top of that, uh, in addition to that, I should say, there's a book coming out uh, being written by one of Drew Pearson's men, a man from the New York Post. Originally, they were going to call it the Harry Ape or the Missing Link. I guess the new name they have for it is uh, the Senator and the Ism or something like that. It'll be all the usual smear by innuendo. It's going to be, it's going to be an unpleasant campaign. No well, speaking of support from out of the mm. state, you have been supported or endorsed by such gentlemen as Gerald L. K. Smith and Upton Close. Uh, do you accept their support? Are you, do you welcome uh, it? I, I don't think I have been uh, endorsed or supported by uh, Gerald Smith or Upton Close. Not, not that I know of. They I, let, let me say this. I, I am not going to uh, pass upon any man uh, no matter what his reputation is. I know certain men have reputations being anti-Semitic. I'm sure that no one can point to anything in my background to show that I am anti any particular group. I have no, no, here... No, no, none of my votes, nothing else. I no, have here, please. Senator McCarthy, a publication called Headlines and mm -hmm. What's Behind Them. Another mm -hmm. publication called Conspiracy, the Philip Drew case. Are you mm -hmm. familiar with these? Not with the publication, Mr. Rogers. They mention your name in here, uh, endorsing you, and they also mention that uh, General Eisenhower is uh, part of a Semitic plot to overthrow the world. Uh, it's, it's part of the literature that's circulating about. Do you know, do you know about these publications? Uh, no, I don't, but may I, may I say that whether Eisenhower or Taft is nominated. In either event, I think we'll have a good nominee uh, and by saying Eisenhower or Taft, I don't want to exclude the possibility of another great American like General MacArthur, or uh, we've got some other good candidates. But I'm not at all disturbed about the Americanism, the loyalty, 
of any of the front-running candidates we have. Well, I think they're the, good Americans. I think they're good Republicans, too. On the, uh, on the national scene. And, and may, I, may I say that any, any publication which uh, intimates that there's anything un-American about any of our front-running candidates is mistaken, putting it my way. Any, uh, all of our candidates, in your opinion, are, are solid American gentlemen. All, all of those front-running candidates, all of those that have been mentioned in connection with the... These publications the, which endorse you and oppose General Eisenhower, you do not believe should be circulated, do you? I don't know what's in that publication, Mr. Rogers. Uh, well, all, all I can say is that uh, uh, I've been taking no part in the presidential race. I've been fully satisfied that regardless of which one of the uh, men uh, are nominated, uh, he'll be a good candidate. Uh, we've got a bunch of good delegates at Chicago, good Americans. I won't be afraid to support him to the hilt, and I intend to do that, regardless of who's nominated on the Republican ticket, that is. Well, uh, Senator, uh, speaking of campaigns, do you expect a campaign outside of Wisconsin uh, between now and November? Mr. Huey, I, I owe some uh, heavy obligations to other senators, men who have come to my aid when things look blackest in this fight against communist and government. Some of them are in the so-called marginal states. Uh, if they think they're having difficulty in their Senate race, if they think that I can help them, I will come into their states. I may say this, that uh, if the Republicans should take over the Senate, I happen to be the ranking <coughs> member on the investigating committee. That means that McCarthy would become chairman of the Senate investigating committee. And if, if he does, I'll, I'll make you one promise, that Leavenworth won't hold them, Mr. Huey. <laughs> You're going to use the same tactics that you've used right along, sir. Oh, now, when you say the same tactics, you see, if you, if you have a committee, the power to subpoena investigators, mm -hmm. you don't use the same tactics you use when you have no, no uh, committee, no power to subpoena, We've got to dig and root out the communists and the crooks and those who are bad yeah. for America. Yeah. Where, you, where you have a committee, uh, so that you have the power of subpoena, you can get the records. And if we have a Republican president, uh, we'll be able to get those records, I'm sure. Uh, it will be uh, a less spectacular fight, but much more effective. You see, it's, it's difficult when you're all alone uh, with uh, the entire power of this federal bureaucracy against you difficult to dig them out. Even at that, you see, we have uh, exposed, gotten out of government, 11 uh, of those I originally named. Uh, some well some of them have been <coughs> convicted, others before the grand jury, but all out of the government under the loyalty program. I know, I know, and I know you do too, that uh, Mr. Lattimore has been requested not to leave the, 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 the country. Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Lattimore was not one of the 11 because he was no longer uh, uh, in the government. He had been yeah. used as an advisor, but I, I didn't count him amongst the 11. Senator, now... He's, he's not being used any longer. Uh, you, uh, you spoke of... Uh, may, may, I, may I say something uh, further in answer to Mr. Rogers' uh, comment? The State Department has been taking credit for the uh, ban upon Lattimore's leaving the country. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that is uh, uh, just improper because the State Department did not initiate that ban. Who did? It, it was the Justice Department. The Justice Department either phoned or wrote Miss Shipley's division and the visa division mm -hmm. and said close the Canadian borders, close the Mexican borders, close the Atlantic, close the Pacific to Owen Lattimore, don't let him leave the country. Is this now, a result of our new Attorney General? Uh, I don't know. I, uh, the previous Attorney General, uh, McGrath, was a good friend of mine. I uh, I'm very happy to see the new Attorney General apparently going about his job in a good, serious fashion. Uh, may, Senator, may, may I make a, just another 10 seconds? If I were making predictions, I would make this prediction tonight. That is this, the State Department will use every uh, bit of power at their disposal to try and get Owen Lattimore out of this country within the next two or three months. You must now, have reasons for saying that, sir. Very good reasons, and may I suggest that you just watch what happens over the next few weeks and few months and you'll understand why. Now let me understand these two <coughs> predictions that you've made, Senator. They sound very important to me. You are predicting for our viewers that within the next few weeks the State Department will use its influence to get Professor Lattimore outside the country. That's correct. Can you uh, say why, sir? Uh, frankly, I can't. I, now, I, I mean, I could, but I... Uh, for reasons which I'll explain to you after we get off the air, I, I just couldn't do it, do it here tonight. Now the other, the you, other you'll, you'll understand why within a matter of 
Uh, All right, I'll ask. Sure I'll ask. Our, I'll call our, our viewers' attention to your prediction. What you do, Lance? And uh, now the other thing that I'd like to get very clear because it sounds important: uh, if you are elected, re-elected senator, and if there's a Republican victory this fall, uh, then you will be chairman of the present, uh, what's known as the McCarran Committee. Will you? No, not? no, not the McCarran Committee. It's the. Uh, it's now known as the Senator Huey Committee, I formerly the, the Truman Committee. It's the Special Senate Investigating Committee. I see. And you were also made the prediction that uh, if you <coughs> get control of that committee, that uh, you expect to uh, fill up Leavenworth and a few more of the federal prisons. Is that correct? Yes, I, I, th I think, uh, Mr. Huey, that any good American in charge of that investigating committee Senator, uh, there's one other, do that. you mentioned a book, and there's mm -hmm. one book here that uh, we should call our viewers' attention to. It's your book that is published today, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in, in effect, what's the, what's the message of this book uh, to the people of America, sir? Well, Mr. Hill, we call that book McCarthyism, The Fight for America. It is uh, a carefully documented history of the fight to expose communists, uh, bad security risks, and the dupes and stooges of the Kremlin who have been and still are in our federal government. Well, Senator, may, may, may I say this also, if, if we've got... Uh, I'm sorry that our, our time is up. I'm but, sorry. Uh, <coughs> I'm sure that our viewers have appreciated your very forthright views, and thank you for being with us, sir. Thank you. The editorial board for this edition of the Longines Chronoscope was Mr. William Bradford Huey and Mr. Donald I. Rogers. Our distinguished guest was the Honorable Joseph R. McCarthy. United States Senator from Wisconsin. The United States Olympic Committee has chosen Long Jean Watches to time all events for the selection of the United States Olympic team of 1952. Thanks to the fine financial response of the public, a full team representing virtually all amateur sports will go to Helsinki. And the members of the team are selected through competitive trials. And to time these events, Longines has provided some 100 Longines Olympic timing watches, like this, the world's finest timing watch, with accuracy certified by bulletins from a government observatory. Now, because of such demonstrated accuracy, Longines has chosen to time championship sports events the world over, the 1952 Olympic Winter Games, the first Pan American Games, and the third Bolivarian Games. Longines is official watch for the contest board of the American Automobile Association, the American Powerboat Association, the National Aeronautic Association, and many, many others. And it's because also of the exceptional trustworthiness and the accuracy that Longines watches like these have that they're the first choice with discriminating men and women throughout the world. Longines, the world's most honored watch, premier product of the Longines Whitnor Watch Company. Since 1866, maker of watches of the highest character. We invite you to join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening at this same time for the Longines Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour. Broadcast on behalf of Longines, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world honored Longines. This is Frank Knight, reminding you that Longines and Whitnor watches are sold and serviced from coast to coast by more than 4,000 leading jewelers who proudly display this emblem. Agency for Longines, Whitnor watches. Left with Amos and Andy on the CBS Television Network.